hello everyone so in this video we will learn about node modules what are node modules and why we use them in our project so basically this is a simplest video about node modules and after this video you will never feel uh, to know, you know learn about node modules because you will know most of the things about node modules in easiest way possible so let's start quickly so this is my folder npm demo is the name this is a blank folder empty folder there is nothing inside it so so basically we First of all, we have to understand what is node modules. So node modules is a is basically a collection or we can say a folder where we store all the uh, project dependencies related to that particular project. So if we have any project and we, we are using some some of the packages or something, so we have to put all the dependency inside node modules folder folder and npm already automatically manage it and you don't need to manage it manually. So let me show you how it works. So before uh, before using node modules, node modules, we have to just create npm uh, npm project. So I, I will say npm init. So this is the command to initiate any npm project. So npm init. So it is asking for package name. Just press enter for default setting. Some default settings it will ask for. And is it okay? Yeah. Okay. So after npm init you will see this is the package json it got automatically created here the package name is uh, uh, is npm demo version is this description nothing so this this is the standard basic package json uh, file it already created after using npm okay now we will try to add some dependencies for this project and see how how node modules handle those dependencies one by one right so just assume this is my project okay i have some files or something it can be any file or some uh, some folder may be there so in for developing our application we will need some some of the project some of the dependency to to be used in our project right so let me show you how it works okay so so we will go uh, let me let me install some dependency first of all this is our npm website npmjs.com so we will search for uh, npm package here the uh, let's say uh, css loader yeah css, css loader is the simplest package okay so this is a package just assume we want to use this package in our uh, project okay okay so let me copy from here this is the copy command and from here i will post it okay so before running this command uh, this is npm i css loader this is the command to install this that dependency in our project so before uh, uh, running this command uh, let me show you that there is no dependency folder uh, dependency uh, field as such in this package json right there's no dependency as, as of now because in in our project we are not using any dependency or any other node modules um, uh, for our application right now as of now but we will now add some dependency for our project okay dependency means you are developing something and you uh, want to take some help from other uh, other project or other package that is available or automatically available in npm so we will install that package in our application and then we will use that that is called dependency and and node modules will handle all the those dependencies let me show you so this is our npm ie css loader okay i will run this command okay so now you you will see uh, three things happen here so the dependency folder dependency field is added okay and here node modules folder is also got created and package log json file is also got created okay so let me explain one by one so dependency field means uh, that this project has a dependency over this uh, this css loader okay and we will use this version of this uh, this uh, css loader this is the version number for this css loader so uh, this is the one dependency for on this project okay css loader and then the second thing is package log json package log json it talks about the versioning uh, versioning of these uh, dependency okay and third one is node modules so node modules if you see inside node modules okay so inside node modules we we added the dependency css loader so css loader should be there inside node modules folder but you can see there are multiple folders got created this is our dependency css loader right as you can see this is our dependency css loader we added so according to you this is the only folder it should be inside node modules because we have one dependency right now then why is these uh, different different folders got created basically so let me explain you how it works so css loader is is the main dependency here what we mentioned here in our package json if you go inside css folder because each npm package itself is a 
uh, node project itself okay so it it will uh, mandatorily have a uh, package json file okay so if we open css loader and then we go inside its package package json file if we open this then this is also a package json proper because as i said this css loader is itself a node package node uh, project itself okay so it should be a uh, package json file and if we check dependency of this css loader so these are the dependency if you check here de dependencies so ics uh, icss post css so these are the dependencies uh, for this css loader okay so let me show you so node has to install these dependencies also because if if you want to work uh, if you want uh, that, that CSS loader should work properly. So these are the dependencies, right? This is the dependency chain basically. So it should, so node mode module should install these dependencies as well. So if you see, this is the post CSS modules import. So you can see here, you can see here, uh, this is the, if you see here, wait a minute, yeah. If you see, uh, this is the node uh, post CSS modules extract import. So this is the folder here. So it got installed. This this is the second one. It got installed here also. This is the post CSS module scope. So these all are installed here. Okay. And if we open, okay. So this is the this is the uh, this itself is a these all dependencies itself is a node uh, node project. So if we open post CSS. So just go for post CSS folder itself is it is a uh, node project. So if we open package JSON file, okay, package JSON file, then it also has a dependency. It has a dependency on nano ID. Nano ID itself a node project, and this pick colors source map JS. Okay, so if we go for nano ID, so nano ID, so node modules have to install nano ID as well. Okay, so if you see here, node modules install nano ID as well, and if we go in the package JSON of nano ID, let's see if it if it also do uh, if it also have a dependency or not uh, i think it don't have any dependency yeah so we uh, we reached end of the dependency for this chain so yeah and if you a dependency chain gets created when one when our uh, our application needs some dependency of uh, of some project then node modules install that project then it checks it checks its uh, package JSON and finds other uh, other dependency on other package as well. So it has to install those package also, and this chain goes on. And node modules have to uh, install all the uh, all the packages one by one, right? So this is this is how it works. So this is how uh, uh, node modules is uh, helping us to manage all the dependency in our project, right? So yeah, so this this is how node modules handle all the dependencies. Okay, and one more thing. So just assume okay let me uh, okay yeah so just assume we we will we delete all the node modules okay just assume uh, okay this is our package JSON. we have CSS loader okay and each and everything is inside the node modules okay and we just uh, we delete this node modules okay we delete it right and if we run npm install again okay if we run let me run it again now we, we don't need to add npm install css loader or something we just have to run npm install that's it because because it will it will uh, understand automatically that these are these are all uh, it will read this, uh, this package json file and it will install all the dependency one by one okay so we don't need to uh, use npm install uh, npm ie css loader and everything we have to just npm i or npm install both are the same thing npm install okay so npm install and it will read uh, this package JSON and create a uh, dependency tree in node modules according to uh, this package JSON. okay let me run this command again okay so as you can see again it created all the same folders because this this is the this dependency tree all again got created uh, by uh, npm okay so these are the node modules so these are the node modules basically which are needed uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for in, inside this project because we are using csl loader for dependency okay so i hope uh, everything is clear for this uh, tutorial uh, and if you have any question or something you can ask in the comment and thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye bye